Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are happy and healthy and staying fit and completing your work. As we are doing uh, in this video, our writing skills, writing sections, we are completing. And we have already completed notice writing. And today we are going to uh, revise message writing because this is also very important. Only one video, I think it is not enough for you. So that is why I have made one more video about message writing. How to convert a telephonic conversation in message and how to write a simple message about a question which is given in your text book. So this is very important class because writing is important part of English grammar. If you are writing something, if you are giving an information to other person, that is very important that you have to be very precise about your words and in a simple way you have to convey your message in or your information. So that is very important. About that we are going to discuss once more time because this is, I think it is very important for you. That is why I am this uh, video, I am made this video because of your help. That if you get confused, you can see twice or thrice this video, then you can able to write the correct thing or correct message to others. So let's start. I'm going to revise once again what we have studied in the message writing. First of all, it is a very short composition. Uh, and from this, you just convey your information, your message regarding anything. Or one thing you have to always remember, message writing is based on that information about that person which is not in front of you. That is why you are writing a message. You are leaving a message for him or her. So this is very important. And when we talk about the format of message writing, which is based on your grammar, this is also very important. And the marks on format of message writing is dependent one or two marks will be given in the format of message writing and an examination message writing will be considered as a five marks but you can get marks full marks if you are writing a correct way with the correct format then you will able to get full marks in the message writing so i think it is the simplest writing section in the English grammar. Only few lines you have to write correctly and after that the format should be correct according to the grammar. So then you can get full marks in the English grammar. So that is why it is very important to you to write in the correct way. The correct information should be conveyed. So today we are going to once again revising this message writing first of all format the format message should be enclosed in a box that we have discussed in the earlier video also enclosed in the box and the heading when we are talking about heading the heading must be in the block letter and then date will be mentioned over here and sometimes you can write time over here but the place of time it should be there and then salutation for whom you are writing that name should be there and after the body 
वॉट एवर इन्फॉर्मेशन इज देयर यू शुड राइट ओवर हेयर एंड देन सेंडर्स नेम और यू कैन से योर नेम बिकॉज यू आर राइटिंग अ मैसेज फॉर एनी वन सो दिस इज द फॉर्मेट ऑफ मैसेज राइटिंग एंड दैट विल बी फॉलोड बाय ईच एंड एवरी वन बिकॉज ऑन द फॉर्मेट यू विल गेट फुल मार्क्स सो दैट इज वाई आई एम रिपीटिंग वन अगेन एंड अगेन दैट यू शुड फॉलो द फॉर्मेट एंड राइट इट इन द करेक्ट वे now here i have given one situation or one question we have to write the message on this situation you are ram suppose you are ram this morning you received a call from mr mohan your father's friend your father was out for the work mr mohan asks you to convey to your father that he was in fever and not in position to go to the office today he asked your father to inform the managing director for your father so this is a situation that you have to convey this message of mr mohan to your father you are here a mediator because your father is not at your home he was out for the work so that is why this situation in this situation you have to be write a message because this is a very important message and your father friends requested you to write a message to your father so what we are going to write how we are going to write that we are going to learn so this on this question we are going to write a message again i am going to read it write down in your copy you are ram this morning you received a call from mr mohan your father's friend your father was out mr mohan asks you to convey to your father that he was in fever and not in position to go to the office today he asked your father to inform the managing director for your father so here you write down this question or take a screenshot then we will continue the answer of this question now we are going to write message about this situation first of all in the rectangular box the message should be enclosed in the box this is very important then in the center we are going to write message and then date today is 22nd august 2020 and time must be there because this time can easy to that person or your father to understand on which time you have written this message because before two or three minutes before you got that message from mr mohan that is why it is very important to write down the time so here if you got the message at 9 am now you are going to write dear because you are writing to your father dear father this morning
this morning one Mr. Mohan called upon you when you were out. Now here you are writing Dear Father, this morning one Mr. Mohan called upon you when you were out. Now here he has left a message. He has left a message about for you for you that he won't be that he won't be go to the office office today. The cause you have to write. Why he was he won't be able to go to the uh, office? He is in fever. And what other information he wanted to convey that his father should give a information to managing director also. So that we are going to write. He is in fever. He has requested he has requested you to inform you to inform the managing director the managing director on his behalf on his behalf on his behalf and get the leave and get the leave granted. He will submit the leave application. He will submit the leave application application when he goes to office when he will go to office now here you have written each and everything, whatever information you got from Mr. Mohan. First of all, dear father, message you have written, then 22nd August 2020 and here 9am at 8.45 or near uh, quarter to 9, you have got the message. That is why you are writing at 9am. Dear father, this morning, one Mr. Mohan called upon you when you were out. He has left a message for you that he won't go to school to the office today. He is in fever. He has requested you to inform the managing director on his behalf and get the leave granted. He will submit the leave application when he will go to office. So here and after that you just write your name over here. Name should be mentioned because in this board there is no 
uh, space that is why I have not written but your name should be required over here at the end of the letter because we have discussed the sender name always there. So this way we can complete this message writing. Now we are moving to telephonic conversation. How we are convert into message or telephonic conversation. So that we are going to learn. Now this is a telephonic conversation between you and your elder brother's friend. Now here the name or you can say imagine you are Rajesh and your friend's friend uh, your brother's friend name is Ramesh. Here Rajesh and Ramesh and I am going to read this message or uh, this conversation that Rajesh hello it is 991234509 Ramesh yes I am Ramesh speaking what can I do for you now one telephonic conversation I have written on the board and imagine that you are Ramesh and a phone call has come and that phone call is from Rajesh. Rajesh is your elder brother's friend and he wanted to tell you something about his practical book. That con conversation I am going to read. So you just listen carefully and after that we will write a message on this telephonic conversation. So let's read Rajesh. Hello, it is 991234509. Ramesh, yes, I am Ramesh speaking. What can I do for you? Rajesh, well Ramesh, I am Rajesh, your, you know, your brother's friend Ramesh oh I see brother is not here now so can I help you Rajesh could you please convey him that he should bring my practical book today in a school as I need it in class today Ramesh that's fine I'll do that but after this conversation, you have to go to school and that message that you have to write for your brother because he is not at home. So, in this situation, how can you write a message for your brother? This is a telephonic conversation. And these are all sentences we have to write the main thing. First of all, whom you are writing? You are writing to your brother. And what is the matter of, the, of your message? That is because your brother's friend inform you that his practical book is with, his, with your brother. So that information you have to give to your brother and then you have to tell that he should bring his practical book to the school today. So here my is become his. So some point we have to be because this is a very long conversation and how we are able to know how we are how can we start a message writing. First of all who is the receiver of the message? That you. And I told you that you are, imagine that you are Ramesh because you are receiving a call. And who is the caller? Caller is Rajesh over here. Your friend, your brother's friend. That you always keep in your mind. You are Ramesh. 
and your elder's brother friend is Rajesh and the message you have to convey this. So let's begin our message writing according to this telephonic conversation. So please write down in your copy and we are going to start. You just take screenshots also. Take a screenshot and we will continue in our writing. So what should we will do first? We will just draw a rectangular box or box. As we all know, the message should be enclosed in the box. Then we will write message. And then date. And then time, suppose it is 9 a.m. And here you are writing a message to your brother. So here you are going to write, Dear brother, Dear brother, this is the salutation. Then your friend, Your friend What is uh, his friend's name? His friend's name is Ramesh Your friend Your friend His friend's name is Rajesh Rajesh had called Rajesh had called up you upon you upon you in the morning as you as you were out not here you were not here left a message for you for you what message what message he left that that we are going to write for you he has asked you to take his practical book. That was a very important message. Today, In school. This is an important message. So, today he needs it there in school. Please don't forget. You are reminding this again and again. And here you will write your name. This is Ramesh. So you just you have written this message. First of all, you have written dear brother because you are writing to your brother. Your friend Rajesh, you have 
inform him that your uh, friend is Rajesh had called upon you in the morning as you were not here left a message for you he left a message for you what is the message the message about his practical book and you have to take this practical book to the school don't forget it and here you have to write your name so please uh, write down or you can take a screenshot also so this way we can write a telephone telephonic conversation in a message so if the in exam the telephonic conversation will be there so you just write down the main point first of all who is talking to whom that is mo uh, most important thing that who is talking to whom if you have received your call so uh, received anybody's call so you are the receiver and who is calling to you he become a caller then you have to and for whom the message was given that is more important that you have to mention their person's name over there and then you will write the whole message whatever he said that you have to write the message you are not going to uh, deduct anything or you are not going to cut anything you have to write the message but not whole conversation the most important message should be there that is uh, more important then you can convey the correct message to the other person so this is your uh, second telephonic conversation and that is why i am i am uh, revising this chapter because this is very important how to write a normal message writing and how to convert a telephonic conversation into message writing so this is very important that is why you have to be mentioned who is calling you then you are receiver so you will write your name over here because you are receiver you are sending a message you are informing to your brother that is why dear brother then your friend rajesh he is a caller that is why you have write down his name so this is so this is the format of message writing so just go through it practice it many more questions are uh, in your book you just go through all the questions and practice it and in an online classes if you have any doubt you can ask me i'll give you the answer and i will help you over there so till then bye bye and take care now again we are going to revise it a message is a very short composition written in an informal way it is used for conveying some important information to a person when the writer cannot meet him her and give the information directly now here we are going to revise the features of message writing it must be very short including only the important details and relevant information should be provided in brief the name of the person for whom the message is written should be mentioned the name of the writer of the message should be mentioned the date and time when the message is written should also be mentioned a message need not be written in sentence and some articles conjunction or verb can be omitted now we are going to discuss about purpose of writing message messages are written for various purpose to request someone to do some work to give some important information to give some sort of explanation for example had to leave suddenly because mother to kill at her friend's house now next point is to apologize to someone to say sorry forgot to get your book so this type of the examples we can write in a 
message. So, revise these features and learn how to write message and practice it.